As my wife always says, if you love someone, never ask them to drive you to LAX. So when my wife recently had a trip to Denver, do you think I drove her to LAX? No. I took her at four in the morning and dropped her off at a bus terminal. There she goes, look at her. Bon voyage. Now, if you're asking yourself why I would take my wife to a bus terminal at four in the morning, and then if you're wondering how, if I'm the kind of guy that did that, I'm still married, then you probably don't know about the awesome system that is the Van Nuys Flyaway. Believe it or not, this is one of the best things that the Valley has to offer, hands down. As a matter of fact, if you're not from the Valley, then getting to and from LAX may seem like a real hassle and might even be a detriment to living here. And if that's you, then this video is for you and I guarantee it will change your mind. Never pick a loved one up from LAX again. Don't do it. I'm Kyle with Living in the San Fernando Valley and today I'm gonna to show you two great travel options for flying to and from the San Fernando Valley. And I'm gonna show you a third destination just for fun that has a lot of history. You're gonna love it, let's get to it. Now, first of all, you have to realize that LAX isn't exactly a hop, skip, and a jump away from the valley. A friend of my wife's recently said to her, you know, I'd hate to live where you live because the airport is just so far and getting there is such a hassle. And that's true. LAX is located in the southern part of Los Angeles. From the heart of the valley, say Cal State Northridge, it's roughly 30 miles away. In the middle of the day, that's about 50 minutes by car. And the easiest way to get there is by taking the 405 freeway, which is the highest traffic freeway in the nation. So yeah, if you're from out of state and you're considering moving to the Valley and you're concerned about travel, let's say you travel a lot for work, the idea of having to ask a family or friend to drive you to and from the airport and then go pick you up and drive you back, having to spend four hours in the car to go to LAX, that is not good. I recently had a friend who had to turn down something during the day because he had to set aside hours out of his day to go pick up his mother-in-law from the airport. Good son-in-law, crummy day. So what's the solution here? Destination number one, the Van Nuys Flyaway. This is not just your average bus stop here. The flyaway was actually established in 1975 with Van Nuys being the first location. Since then, there have actually been nine locations that have operated throughout the years, but the only ones still in operation are Van Nuys and Union Station. Now what the flyaway does is it offers nonstop bus service to and from all LAX terminals. It's open seven days a week, and these buses, charter style buses, fully equipped with Wi-Fi, internet access, they run seven days a week, including holidays, and generally buses go every half an hour to an hour. No reservations are even required. Now Van Nuys is right in the middle of the valley, and it's pretty easily accessible from anywhere in the West Valley. Much easier than driving to LA anyway. Now, if you're traveling yourself, you can actually drive yourself here, and then you can park in the long-term parking lot. Parking's just $5 a day, and you can leave it there for up to 30 days. I've done this before while traveling with my family. When it was just the three of us, I felt more comfortable driving myself here, taking my own luggage out of the car, Parking here for a couple days only cost 15 bucks. I didn't have to bother my mom to take us to LAX. I didn't have to do an Uber and then take out all the luggage in front of the terminal and watch for the cars that are trying to hit you. If you're just dropping someone off here, the flyaway has a nice front parking lot with no cost short-term parking. So you can park, help your wife out with all of her pink matching luggage and see her off to her flight. There she goes again. You just enter the facility that's right behind me. If you don't already have tickets, you can purchase some right at the front kiosk. Even better, you can get all of your tickets ahead of time, either online or through an app that they have available on both the Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Then you wait for the next bus. They help you load your luggage up. They'll unload it for you at the airport as well. Then you're off. Yes, you still need to sit through the hour to get to the airport, but you don't have to drive. You can sit comfortably, use the Wi-Fi, and let the service take you from there. So if distance from LAX is a problem for you when you're living here in the Valley, then I need you to take a look at the Van Nuys Flyaway. It will improve your quality of life here, I guarantee it. Now let's say you have to take a quick flight locally, maybe say Las Vegas, and you don't necessarily wanna to go to LAX, guess what? That's what destination number two is for. Destination number two, the Hollywood Burbank Airport. Okay, I'm now standing here in front of the Hollywood Burbank Airport, previously known as the Bob Hope Airport. Uh, a few years ago, they stopped calling it that because I guess people didn't know who Bob Hope was anymore which I think is really sad. I think you should probably go, you know, look up Bob Hope in the USO. It's history, you know? Anyway, now the Burbank Airport is meant to serve the greater northern part of Los Angeles, uh, including Burbank, 
Pasadena, the Valley, Hollywood, and it's actually the only airport with a direct rail connection to downtown. Now, when it opened in 1930, it was actually the largest commercial airport uh, on the West Coast, even larger than LAX at the time. Now, since then, LAX has grown, so it's no longer as large as LAX, um, but it still has a lot of options for flights, and it's much less busy than LAX. This is the airport where you can actually ask your friends to drive you here. Uh, it's easily accessible. Um, I got here just through side streets if the freeways are too busy. And you can get here from basically anywhere in the valley fairly quickly and easily. The terminal drop-off is pretty convenient. Um, it's not as confusing as LAX because there's a lot less going on. It's a lot wider. There's a lot more room for you to you know, help her wife out with her humongous pink luggage. And of course, you can't beat this San Fernando Valley weather. And then when you're done dropping off, you're in a pretty cool area um, just south of Toluca Lake. You're only a short drive away from the oldest remaining Bob's Big Boy restaurant, which is sort of a local landmark around here. Personally, I like to stop at Randy's Donuts. Now, this is a franchise of the original Randy's Donuts, which is in Inglewood, very close to LAX, actually. So it made sense for them to put one near the Burbank Airport as well. Uh, Randy's, you know, as another famous Los Angeles landmark with a huge donut sign. The sign here in Burbank isn't as big, but the donuts are just as good. Most of the daily flights from this airport go to areas in the western United States. So if you're flying to Las Vegas or Arizona or Utah, there's a lot of options for you. JetBlue also flies to New York out of here daily. JetBlue was just named the top airline in consumer satisfaction for premium economy and first class in 2022 by J.D. Power. So that's two great options for travel if you live here in the valley. So don't be under the impression that if you live in the valley and because LAX is so far away that the process of flying out of here is gonna be just a total bummer. The flyaway and Burbank Airport are close, they're easy, and in a lot of ways, they're actually a lot of fun. After this, we have one more stop, and this actually is just for fun. Our final destination for today, the Van Nuys Airport. Hey everybody, so right behind me, I have the Van Nuys Airport. Now obviously, Van Nuys is located in the West Valley, um, but this is not a commercial airport. But it has some amazing history and it's very important to the valley. It's actually located right next to the Van Nuys Flyaway, or I should say the Van Nuys Flyaway is actually situated next to it um, that I covered earlier in this video. So the airport is operated by the city, just like LAX, uh, but like I said, it's not a commercial airport. Uh, and in fact, this is actually one of the world's busiest general aviation airports with over 232,000 operations in 2020. It's home to the Los Angeles Fire Department Air Operations, and it's a maintenance base for LAPD aircraft as well. In the 1920s, it became really popular with celebrities. And then in 1942, it was used as a location for the uh, iconic ending of Casablanca. Right after World War II, it actually became known as the San Fernando Valley Airport. And then in the 50s, it became known as the Van Nuys Airport. So if you're a fan of aviation at all, um, this is a really cool attraction. As you can see, there's no shortage uh, of activity going on. Uh, there's constantly um, uh, planes taking on and off, so you can just sit back and watch. There used to be a restaurant actually called the 94th Aero Squadron, which actually was situated um, along one of the runways. And you can sit there, have brunch, and watch the planes take off uh, uh, all, all morning long. That sense actually has closed, actually just recently during COVID, unfortunately. But right along Balboa, you'll find that there are plenty of options for flight lessons if aviation is something you're interested in. Um, a lot of celebrities have planes here uh, that they use recreationally as well. Uh, here I am under the landing path uh, of one of the airplanes. As you can see, you get some really cool up close views of all kinds of aircraft just right here in the middle of the valley. Now, of course, if you're living in the valley um, or if you're trying to make videos uh, like I am in the valley next to an airport and you're thinking to yourself, isn't it a little noisy to have an airport right in the middle of a neighborhood? Well, you might be right, um, but the Van Nuys Airport is actually known for implementing a lot of noise abatement strategies. Where I live in Northridge is only about five minutes away and you would never know that there was an airport nearby. So again, you're not gonna find JetBlue here, but the Van Nuys Airport is really an important part of the San Fernando Valley history. Um, it's located centrally to everything. There's a lot of options if you wanna uh, get into aviation. Uh, there's uh, classes where you can hop into a flight simulator. So. This is really uh, a wonderful option uh, and a part of the culture of the Valley as we know it. So to sum up, not only is it easy and fun to travel from within the Valley, but there's a lot of history to be proud of as well. That isn't to say that LAX and that area of Los Angeles doesn't have its benefits and its, uh, its own appeal as well. But the long history of the Burbank Airport, the Flyaway, the Van Nuys Airport, just add to the unique culture of the Valley. And there are just three more reasons why this continues to be 
a great place to live. So if you're looking to move to, from, or within the San Fernando Valley, I'd love to speak to you. So whether you're moving in 90 days or nine days, call me, text me, email me, set up a Zoom with me. I'd love to talk about how I can make this process smooth for you. And as always, like this video, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the cool stuff headed your way. As always, I'm Kyle with eXp Realty, and this is Living in the San Fernando Valley.